Hi everyone and welcome to ba -ba -da -ba, Kate's Corner! Ba -ba -ba. I feel like anyone who watches my beauty reviews thinks that I'm a super chill, just like very calm, relaxed person who's like on the more serious side. I'm pretty much the opposite of that. So I wanted to launch a series where I'm just doing my thing, being me, talking about whatever, making some cocktails, eating some snacks, doing my thing. I just feel like all my videos are just like very vanilla. So Jason, the founder of Phytosurgeons actually coined the phrase Kate's Corner and I thought it was so funny. I had to do something with it. So it's going to be a series on my Instagram and on my YouTube channel where I'm doing tipsy product reviews, talking about my favorite things, recipes for cocktails and cooking, vlog style stuff, anything really, but I'm just going to make it super fun. Today I'm going to get started by making a cocktail called the Enzoni. I recently discovered a YouTube channel that I have fallen so head over heels in love with. If you are a fan of cocktails and you're just kind of, you know, dipping your toe in the waters of mixology, totally recommend checking out Steve the Bartender. Super cool dude, he's like 6'8", this like 6'8", huge Australian guy, and he's like super nice. He has all these amazing cocktail recipes, so, Bought a couple things that I didn't already have, and we're gonna make the Enzoni. What is an Enzoni? Basically, an Enzoni is a refreshing, uh, slightly bitter and slightly boozy gin cocktail that features Campari. Campari is a dark red Italian aperitif, which is like very, very bitter. Um, and the Enzoni is actually a cross between a Negroni and a gin sour. So it's got a little bit more of the bitterness that the Neg uh, Negroni is known for from the Campari, but it's also a little bit on the more refreshing side, like a gin sour. So what's in an Enzoni? Uh, gin, so I'm gonna start with Hendrix. You can use any gin that you like, but Hendrix is one of my favorites. Obviously gotta have the Campari. Lemon juice, simple syrup, and five white grapes. Basically the five white grapes are gonna be muddled in the cocktail shaker. Um, to kind of mimic the sweet vermouth that you would have in a Negroni. I love the addition of the grapes in here. You don't usually see a cocktail with muddled grapes. I tried it the other day and I was obsessed. And just some other bar essentials for the drink. I've got some bamboo sticks. We're gonna skewer some grapes and put it on top of the cocktail glass. Gotta have your cocktail shaker. This is good for at home use or if you're like more of a novice mixologist like myself. Um, but it is better to have a Boston shaker instead if you're making like multiple cocktails in one batch. Um, also, sometimes these can be really difficult to get off after you've made the cocktail. And a Boston shaker is basically just this with a pint glass on top. You put them together, you shake it, and then you just pull them apart. And you would use uh, a strainer like this over the top. I actually just came back from my local uh, specialty liquor store and they were all out of Boston shakers. So unfortunately I have to stick with this and it's like a little bit broken, so whatever. Most important thing, don't forget your snacks. Well, now I'm ready. First things first, we're gonna start with five white grapes into our cocktail shaker. Now, I don't have a tool to muddle any fruit so I'm just gonna use this and I'm gonna smash them. If you don't know what muddling is, it's basically like pressing on fruit to release its juices and flavors. Honestly, just like use whatever tool you have. I ain't fancy. Okay, so now your grapes should just look like a bunch of mush and you're ready to move on. So we're gonna take our Hendrix and do an ounce of gin. Same amount of Campari, an ounce of Campari. If you haven't tasted Campari, intense. Half an ounce of simple syrup. And just so you know, you do not have to go out and buy simple syrup. I just like to have this on hand uh, for quicker use, but I love making my own simple syrups infused with different herbs like uh, mint simple syrup or cherry simple syrup. Basically just take equal parts water and sugar, bring it up to a boil, dissolve the sugar, and then just let it sit for a bit and you're good to go. If you want a bunch on hand, you could do like one cup of sugar, one cup of water, and then just keep it in your fridge. A half ounce of simple syrup, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Now we're gonna shake it with ice. I've had my rocks glass chilling with some ice because I want the glass to be super cold, but dump out the rest of this ice because it's 
been diluting from the heat. And I like to go in with a big block of ice because the larger the ice, the slower it melts and then it won't dilute your cocktail. Now we're gonna take three grapes and we're gonna skewer them with our bamboo sticks and then pop them on our rocks glass. The recipe calls for white grapes, but in my favorite uh, bartender channel, Steve the bartender, he uses red grapes because that's all he had on hand. And I kind of like the way that the garnish looks of the red grapes better, but let's go ahead and try it. Mm. Oh man, that's really fucking good. Mm. It is bitter from the Campari, but it's a really good intro to Campari because it's not like an intense Negroni where that's all you taste. And the lemon juice freshens it up. It's only a tiny bit sweet from the simple syrup. And again, the grapes just give it that really interesting quality that I never would have thought of before. Thumper, do you want to try the Anzoni? You want to try the Anzoni? No, alcohol is not for dogs. Don't be silly. I will leave a link to Steve the Bartender's video uh, in the description box below where you can check it out. Let me know what you think of this new series, Kate's Corner. I don't know if anyone will watch this, but cocktails are a huge part of my life. I wanna do tipsy reviews. I wanna make recipes. I wanna show you a little bit of my life. Uh, so if you made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, hopefully.